Hey everyone, Dan Central here, and welcome to part 16 of my Let's Play Super Mario World playthrough. Now, like I said in the last part, we're going to be doing this level that Mario is currently on with Yoshi. Then we'll do the castle that it goes to after that. Then I'll quickly show the entrance it forms to Star World, and then I'll just show you them quick two features um, from the forest as well, and then we'll carry on to the next section of the map. Now. I think the reason why this level is called Forest Secret Area is because you get to this level via a secret in the previous level. You don't just go to the end goal because it forms that unnecessary route, which I still do because it gives you percentage anyway. Um, so let's have a look at that right now. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this level. So you can choose which one you go on, it's up to you. You can go up or down, but they both meet at certain points, so you can jump from one to the other, it's up to you. Like so. I'll stay on it this time and we'll go down. Whoa. One thing I forgot to mention um, to um, all my subscribers as well as my viewers as well, um, I didn't do a Christmas video like a lot of people did, like XFAR2708 um, and SNESTastic, um, because I didn't really get a lot gaming wise, I didn't think it would um, prove a really good video, but what I did get gaming wise, sorted, um, was new Super Mario Bros. Wii on the Nintendo Wii and Sonic and the Black Knight on the Nintendo Wii, and then I just got um, a few DVDs, books, clothes, and money as well. So I only got two games gaming-wise, which is really chuffed with, because Super Mario Bros. Wii is absolutely amazing. You have to play if you haven't already done so. But just get it. But that's all I've really got, really. So, back to this. Um, yep, yeah, we're now on a castle. And once we've completed this castle, we'll, it will form another entrance to Star World. And I should then have enough time to quickly show you the other two features I was going to show you. And it'll also make my life easier if I don't die. Oh, I didn't know how to get out of that at, at that moment. Oh no, 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 I want it, I want it. Oh. I've had a few people also saying in comments um, that I definitely need to get a, a Super Nintendo USB controller and I completely agree. So as soon as I get the chance, I will be investing in one as soon as I can because I would not recommend using a keyboard to play this game and I'm serious. I mean this part is unbelievably hard, you have to be really quick and with a keyboard I'm not holding much hope. Okay, fair enough, I did do it. But, I tell you, I've never found Super Mario World so hard. Everything just feels and seems so much harder than it normally is when I play it on the actual console. And I'm, I'm finding myself having to be a bit slower and a bit more careful than I normally am. Right now, there's one thing I want to um, make a point of here as well. You will see that um, the door to the end of this castle is underneath a ledge. But if you run along the, if you actually run along the ledge though, oh, damn it, um, it looks like you can jump over this fire. Now, there's the door to the end of this castle, right? But if I run along the top, you'll see that there's a load of fire. Now, some of you may be tempted to get a cape and try flying all the way along that fire above it. Please take it from me, you will not get very far and you will die. It's pretty much an illusion, it's put there to try and make you think that you're going to find somewhere secret if you go along it. Trust me, you won't. There are so many bits of fire that fly up and down along, along as you try and fly over it. Trust me, you won't do it. You just won't get along there. I've tried for hours on end in the past. Trust me, there is nothing there. It's just fire and that's it. And you can't get along it because so many flames fly up.
and we did it. I definitely prefer the other bosses to them rhinos because they just do my head in because I always either fall through the floor or they just kill me when they throw them lava things at me. But there we go guys, that's also, I've saved, it's enabled me to save as well which is good. And there's another entrance to Star World. I also forgot to mention in the first part of that castle you'd have noticed that a lot of the um, floor was made up of different coloured blocks. And they were all obviously um, caused by getting these switches which they were therefore solid. But if you don't get all the switches that castle is made ten times harder because some of the floor becomes transparent in the sense that you just fall through it if you haven't got the switch for that part of the floor so make sure you get all the switches before you do that castle anyway because otherwise you'll just fall through parts of the floor it'll just be so much harder by getting all the switches they're all filled in when you run along the floor so something to bear in mind and yeah this is another entrance to star world i'm not going to do any more of the levels at the moment because i'm conscious of time i want to show you guys them two features quickly Okay, first feature quickly. I really wanted to go back to this because I, I did mention it when I when I first got into the forest, but I haven't mentioned it since. Even if um, some of you are out there thinking, what, what, oh, missed it. What um, secrets are you talking about? I don't remember him doing this. I'm sure when I get to it, you'll remember. Oh. This part here. Now, let me just show you guys what, we, what you have to do. You have to get on Yoshi, like you did for the Soda Lake um, secret, but you're just not going under something. But the same aspect that you're jumping off Yoshi. There we go. And then you've got the you got the, the key. Whoops! Can't pick it up then. Pick it up then. It seems a lot harder with the cape, to be honest. And all that does is it creates a route to. Ah, uh, did you see that? I've never actually seen that before. In the whole of the times I've played this game, it just deletes the route and then re puts it in. Interesting, but as, as you saw, you can also create that route just doing the ghost house and going right, so either one works fine. But I just wanted to show you guys how you do that because I, I realised that I didn't go back to it afterwards. And all I want to show you in this ghost house, if I don't die, that is. trying to stand on the block and not get hit. Okay. This is an absolute pain this bit, so I'm glad this is the last time I have to do it. Now don't really need the pee to be honest. Whoops. My bad. But in this door, it just takes you back here. I think I saw, I saw in an earlier part, I think I said that um, it takes you to a different room, sorry about that, it just takes you to an earlier part in the level. So just in case you guys were um, thinking, but you missed that door, where does that lead you? It leads you basically back here, so it's actually not a good idea to go through it, because it just takes you all the way back here again. So I'm going to end this part on a level, because um, there's no point really, well I can complete it, but you guys have seen me do it twice, and I don't want to waste any more time, so join me in part 17 where I will be um, going down into the, sec the next part of the map and we'll do the Star World after we've completed the game because I think it'll be easier then, concentrate on completing the game first um, defeating Bowser and then we'll do the Star World after that to show you what bonus extra stuff you can go on to. Alright, well, thanks for watching this part guys and I'll see you in part 17.